The Southern Ocean surrounds Antarctica and is defined by the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the strongest current in Earth's marine systems. This ocean is often def defined as including waters south of 60 degrees south latitude. The Southern Ocean is the only ocean not bordered by a continent on at least one side. As you can imagine, given its location, the Southern Ocean is cold. As a result, it is characterized by species such as mink whales, seals, and penguins. Because the Southern Ocean has unique characteristics, it is a target for conservation efforts. An article at phys.org was published June 30, 2025, entitled Southern Ocean Saltier, Hotter, and Losing Ice Fast as Decades-Long Trend Unexpectedly Reverses. Here's the lead. Quote, Researchers have discovered a dramatic and unexpected shift in the Southern Ocean, with surface water salinity rising and sea ice in steep decline, end quote. As you are undoubtedly aware, quote, sea ice in steep decline, end quote, is bad news for those of us who occupy this planet. Any additional indications that Earth is continuing to overheat is unwelcome evidence. The two paragraphs after the lead indicate the dire nature of the situation in the Southern Ocean. Quote, since 2015, Antarctica has lost sea ice equal to the size of Greenland, the largest environmental shift seen anywhere on Earth in the last decades. The Southern Ocean is also getting saltier, and this unexpected change is making the problem worse. For decades, the ocean's surface freshened, becoming less salty, helping sea ice grow. Now, scientists say that trend has sharply reversed, end quote. The following three short paragraphs provide an overview. Quote, Using European satellite data, research led by the University of Southampton has discovered a sudden rise in surface salinity south of 50 degrees latitude. This has coincided with a dramatic loss of sea ice around Antarctica and the re-emergence of the Mod Rise Paulinia in the Weddell Sea, a huge hole in the sea ice nearly four times the size of Wales which hadn't occurred since the 1970s. The findings have been published June 30th, 2025 in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, end quote. A polynia is an area of open water surrounded by sea ice. Polynias are noteworthy because they disrupt the usual cover of ice and snow, thereby allowing the ocean and atmosphere to interact. This interaction hastens the melting of sea ice, for those of us accustomed to survival on a relatively cool planet, this is problematic. Polynias are yet another sign of an overheated Earth continuing to warm. The first author of the peer-reviewed open access paper is quoted in the phys.org article, quote, Saltier surface water allows deep ocean heat to rise more easily, melting sea ice from below. It's a dangerous feedback loop. Less ice leads to more heat, which leads to even less ice. The return of the Mod Rise Polynia signals just how unusual the current conditions are. If this salty, low ice state continues, it could permanently reshape the Southern Ocean, and with it, the planet. The effects are already global. Stronger storms, warmer oceans, and shrinking habitats for penguins and other iconic Antarctic wildlife." End quote. The admission of a self-reinforcing feedback loop is a pleasant surprise. It's hardly the first one to be documented on this overheated planet, but it is one of the few that scientists admit is ongoing. In addition, the admission that, quote, the effects are already global, end quote, is good to see. It is, after all, an interconnected Earth. The Southern Ocean affects and is affected by the entire planet, and this is particularly obvious in the world's oceans. The article at phys.org continues, quote, in these polar waters, cold, fresh surface water overlies warmer, saltier waters from the deep. In the winter, as the surface cools and sea ice forms, the density dis difference or stratification between water layers weakens, allowing these layers to mix and heat to be transported upward, melting the sea ice from below and limiting its growth, end quote. Again, melting sea ice is an unwelcome outcome. The article continues with a good news, bad news approach. Quote, since the early 1980s, the surface of the Southern Ocean had been freshening and stratification had been strengthening, trapping heat below and sustaining more sea ice coverage. 
Now, new satellite technology combined with information from floatic robotic devices which travel up and down the water column shows this trend has reversed. Surface salinity is increasing, stratification is weakening, and sea ice has reached multiple record lows, with large openings of open water in the sea ice, or polynyas, returning. It's the first time scientists have been able to monitor these changes in the Southern Ocean in real time. Contrary to the new findings, man-made climate change was generally expected to sustain Antarctic sea ice cover over the coming years. End quote. As usual with articles posted at phys.org, this article refers to a peer-reviewed paper. Specifically, it includes a link to an article in the renowned Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The peer-reviewed open-access paper was created by 11 scholars entitled Rising Surface Salinity and Declining Sea Ice, a New Southern Ocean State Revealed by Satellites. Published on June 30, 2025, the peer-reviewed paper begins with an abstract. Quote, for decades, the surface of the polar southern ocean, south of 50 degrees south, has been freshening, an expected response to a warming climate. This freshening enhanced upper ocean stratification, reducing the upward transport of subsurface heat and possibly contributing to sea ice expansion. It also limited the formation of open ocean polynyas. <clears throat> Using satellite observations, we reveal a marked increase in surface salinity across the circumpolar southern ocean since 2015. This shift has weakened upper ocean stratification, coinciding with a dramatic decline in Antarctic sea ice coverage. Additionally, rising salinity facilitated the re-emergence of the Mod Rise Polynya in the Weddell Sea, a phenomenon last observed in the mid-1970s. <clears throat> Crucially, we demonstrate that satellites can now monitor these changes in real time, providing essential evidence of the Southern Ocean's potential transition toward persistently reduced sea ice coverage. End quote. In other words, our overheated planet continues to demonstrate adverse consequences. The, quote, marked increase in surface salinity since 2015, end quote, quote, is yet another sign that too many people consuming too much of everything is turning out expectedly poorly. Earth is exhibiting adverse results at every turn. The evidence continues to accumulate, and it is already clear. Loss of habitat for human animals is not far away. <laughs>